Carving is a very pure form of art in that it's simply a bit of metal and a hammer and you're hitting a bit of wood. Um, and I love that simplicity. I've always been interested in creative activities, so working with my hands since a young age, and really inspired by my, my parents and my dad, able to fix anything, doing a lot of woodwork, and my mum, a very creative artist. I remember vividly one year just struggling to find something, a, a present for my girlfriend, and picked up a chisel uh, in my dad's workshop and thought, oh, I'll just try and carve something, and, and made this little kind of flower, this candle, and um, loved it, just was, yeah, just amazed at what I could do with this one chisel. So like a lot of young people, I really struggled to figure out what I wanted to do in life, and did what a lot of people have done and, and went to university and ended up working for the United Nations down in Rome. Yeah, it was a really good job, really enjoyed it, but it wasn't an outlet for my creativity and I felt quite confined by sitting at the desk working at the laptop and I really wanted to be carving it and um, yeah, took this leap of faith really. I, I left my job and as a keen cycle tourist, um, came up with this idea of cycling part way around the world, documenting woodcarvers and learning from them. So whilst I was on this journey, a lot of the carvers would ask about my own history and heritage of carving back in England, and I didn't really have any answers for them. And this inspired me to enrol on a three year historic wood carving course in London, really to progress my knowledge and skills of traditional English wood carving, and that was the turning point for me. What I love about wood carving is the process itself, so when you're carving it's all about light and shadow, and really trying to think about that connection of the chisel with the wood as it kind of goes through and goes in, and that process is very absorbing, it's very kind of all-consuming, um, you're not really able to think about too much and your your eyes I guess are focused on such a small point that your whole world becomes the end of the chisel and what you're creating rather than thinking about what happened earlier in the day or yesterday or other worries. As a woodcarver I'm not just focused solely on the act of carving itself but there's a lot of processes involved to get to that point so I've worked closely with clients to design a piece, um, so do some initial drawings, some sketches. I've then turned that into a 3D model, so using wax or clay, and then from that they'd be able to see what, it, what it's going to look like. When we finish the piece, um, some clients like it oiled or, or stained, but also we do a lot of um, very fine painting and gilding, so using a lot of traditional methods to do that. Um, particularly for the heraldry is quite popular. So we don't just undertake new carvings but we also really passionate about doing a lot of restoration work on old properties and find it really satisfying being able to help preserve and protect these pieces so that others can enjoy them for years to come. If you're interested in commissioning a piece or have a restoration project you would like help with then we'd love to hear from you.